This next scene is from my favourite TV series called The West Wing, and it follows the press secretary of the White House, uh, CJ, from her office to the press room. And this is a two minute walk, but within these two minutes she is given a heap of new information by her colleagues. And why I want to show this is that she is completely in flow. She is not intimidated by the chaos around her. She's completely focused, even though she's adaptive and she's open to whatever comes her way. And she's got the focus at the same time to take this new information and to actually apply it a minute later in the press briefing. And all this doing what, uh, all this while keeping good humor. So she plays with, she jokes with her colleagues, and the scene starts when she's talking on the phone to Josh Lyman, who's uh, a senior, also a senior staff member, and who's in the previous series at the end finale, of, uh, the grand finale. He was shot in the chest, and he's now recovering at the, in the hospital. And he's such a control freak that he tries to influence and steer her from the from the bed in his ho in the hospital. And she's uh, treating it lightly, and she's able to take the core of his information and apply it. And it's just a very good um, it's just a very good example of how a team can ideally operate. And this is also a reaction I get from uh, the audience a lot of times when I show this scene is, yeah, it's a little bit too ideal. This is a a, a group of actors who've repeatedly practiced this, and it's not realistic. And I, I think, yeah, but that's amazing. I mean, there's a, a team of actors who've, who've, who've actually been able to pull this off. There's a cameraman walking backwards with 20 kilos of equipment um, on his shoulders, um, trying not to trip. Um, there's a sound person, there's lighting all around, and this is an excellent example of amazing craftsmanship, both in the realm of fiction, where it's, it's really beautiful how these people deal with each other, and it's outside of it where you see there's a film team which is completely in tune with each other and totally well-oiled and able to pull this off. So any which way you like to look at it, it's a pretty cool fragment. The theory of everything? Yes. Is it comprehensive? CJ. That was a joke there, pal of mine. I want you to lead with this. Carol, I'm missing the OMB stats. They're coming. CJ, I want you to lead with this. I'm not going to lead with it. Yes, you are. Okay. So you got it? Sure. I mean, you got what you're supposed Carol, to say? Also the EPA? The committee won't be out till three. CJ, say it for He's me. He's making me crazy. You know, I heard that. Yeah, I understand how a speakerphone works. Say it for me. Joshua, I really have to get to the briefing room. Say it, room. please. Psychics at Caltech and the Fermi National Accelerator Lab are close to announcing what Physicists. Like... Theoretical physicists at Caltech. Not psychics? No. I should jot that down. Please. I'll tell you, if it was psychics, I'd lead with it. CJ. Talk to you later, Mia Moore. I don't think you understand. Understand. Thank you. You can sit him down. Zan, or let Josh ran a little before you hang up the phone. Sure. CJ? Yes, ma'am. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is going to report that the CPI jumped 0.7%. Okay. It's the biggest one-month increase since the Bureau began tracking prices in 52. All right, let me say this. The market basket used to calculate the CPI is antiquated. Say outdated. And doesn't include some regular household items yes. like computers. The prices are always dropping. Yes. And doesn't reflect significant technical improvements improvements like airbags and automobiles, which increase the price of the car very slightly, but provide a much greater value to the consumer. You've got all that? Let's find out. CJ. Leopold. You mentioned the HUD Secretary's announcing changes in the underwriting criteria for the Federal Housing Administration. Well, the network's going to want to break in with special coverage for that. The adjustments are in FHA-related lending. Seriously, they're going to need time to put together a logo and theme music. You know, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported, reported the CPI jump by 0.7 percent. Thank you. CJ. Oh, holy interrupt us, Batman. Grant Samuels died. Really? Yes. He's really really dead this time? Yeah. Because last time you told me he was dead, he wasn't. He's dead this time. Somebody poked him a little to see He died, CJ. Well, okay, then I shouldn't have made a joke. I'm almost certain he's dead. Sam? I was making a joke, too. Well, someone... you work alone? Uh, he's survived by his wife, Eileen, son, Robert, his two daughters, Priscilla and Patty, and eight grandchildren. I'm not going to learn their names. Uh, that's fine. Eileen, Robert, Priscilla, Patty, eight grandchildren. Yes. I'm assuming it was complications due to... Yeah. You know anything about theoretical physics? Ah, the Grand Unified Theory. You know anything about it? No. Okay. Good morning, everybody. I have to start with a sad announcement. Congressman Grant Samuels finally succumbed to pneumonia last night. His wife, Eileen, his son, Robert, his daughters, Priscilla and Patty, and his eight grandchildren are all in the president's thoughts today. I also want to talk this morning about the Bureau of Labor Statistics and the Federal Housing Administration. And as a special treat for our friend Josh Lyman, who's recovering very nicely at GW, the president's science advisor is telling us that psychics at Caltech and the Fermi National Accelerator Lab you know what? I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be physicists.